<laughs> we got to get Eva's name off the song. Eva has been booted off the island. I don't know what to say. Y'all done got me. Look, y'all done got me going live when it's still daylight outside. It's funny. Alicia said, it's funny how people resign. It's funny how people resign. Y'all come on in. Y'all, I didn't even have no intro, but I'm here. But look, look, look. Eva pulled a charade on y'all. Y'all remember when Sheree got fired the first time? You know, she didn't got fired like two, three times. I didn't lost count. But when Sheree got fired the first time, or was it the second time? I don't remember. Maybe it was the, no, it might have been the first. Sheree quit before she got fired. That is what Eva has done. <laughs> Eva has quit before news got out that she was fired. <sighs> Anywho, like I was saying, um, yes, there are several rumors going around about the cast of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. We've been talking about it over on Patreon. It's like Eva's out. Who's next? Who's next? I know Eva's not the only one who's going to be gone. Now, you know, y'all been speculating about Nene. Y'all have been speculating about Cynthia. Y'all have been speculating about everybody else. But from where I look, my sources tell me, you know, at least two people are safe. And I think it's Nene and Candy. I think it's Nene and Candy. At least two people are safe. Now, uh, you know, I like Kenya being on the show because it gives me a whole lot of clicks and views. But perhaps, you know, Bravo gave her a year to get her stuff together and maybe they didn't like what she had to give. I don't know. But as far as Eva is concerned, Eva has been out there making moves. Let me change my background real quick. Eva was quick with it, honey. Eva got on the uh, morning show this morning and she told the world exactly what her deal was hold on I'm gonna put a little bit in here hold on let me see if I can find it <sighs> here go Eva honey Eva had a lot to say this morning let's see what she had to say to return to season 13 of the Real Housewives of Atlanta oh. and she said quote I appreciate the bond of friendship that I have made with several of my castmates and strong personal relationships I have I have with numerous executives and producers of the Bravo and truly entertainment companies she said, quote, I am thankful the opportunity, thankful for the opportunity I was provided. However, after speaking with my family and representatives, I believe that what I hope to accomplish for the culture and community will be better served by focusing on other opportunities. So Eva, uh, Eva, you know, the prepared statement that Eva had as Gary so uh, adequately read. I want to read it to you as well because we're gonna dissect it. You know how we do over here. We have to we have to look deeper. It's <laughs> we gotta look deeper at some of these things. Eva was like, I am thankful for the opportunity I was provided. However, after speaking with my family and representatives, I believe that what I hope to accomplish for the culture and community will be better served by focusing on other opportunities. I look forward to serving my community on the Ricky Smiley morning show and finding ways to be a voice during this transformational time in our country for people of color. Y'all know they've been dragging Eva. They've been like, Eva is a colorist. Eva need to apologize for them colorism comments she made. But again, I digress. But Eva had a lot to say. Hold on. Let's hear what Eva said this morning. Hold on. We ain't got the statement. Um. I think everything has a reason and a season. And, season. The time and the time that I spent on Housewives, I enjoyed myself. I cried. I laughed. I obviously fought. Um, and we did a lot of things. But most importantly, I made some great friendships with some beautiful women. And I believe that my time is up. I have a six-year-old daughter and two young boys still in diapers. And they're 24 hours a day. And there is a lot of work to be done. And so I decided to spend my time and energy focusing on on my kids and my community and not so much reality show business. So, so the, the shooting that show take a lot of your time? It does. It takes a lot of time. And if you can imagine, Ricky, when I first started the um, morning show, I was doing the morning show. I was filling in for Portia because she was pregnant and I was also pregnant and I was shooting Real Housewives of Atlanta. So it gave me so no little time, time to be with, to my, be with family, my family, to bond. to bond with my new husband. And I just, I have such an opportunity here 
it, I don't have to over exhaust myself. And so I'm going to um, take my opportunity to love on my family and to be here every morning from six to 10. I don't need 50 jobs. Well, uh, y'all saying what I what I said. I was like, did the nappy did the nappy head comments get Eva fired? Is that what it the day were like? Uh uh, we can't bring her back because there's too many people calling her a colorist. Is that what it was? I don't understand. You said good for her. A lot of people seem to feel like you know it's the perfect time. You know, Bravo, Bravo allows the women when they get terminated. <laughs> and I say terminate, you know, I use the word terminated, but you know, we all know it's when their contract is not renewed. They allow them to say whatever they want to say. Y'all remember when Kenya got terminated or her contract was not renewed. Kenya got online, told everybody she was still in negotiations. She's still working on, she was working on it till after they had filmed the fifth damn episode of season 10. She was still working on it. But I digress, y'all. It ain't about Kenya. It ain't about Kenya. Uh, but, you know, who do y'all think? Who do y'all think is going to be next? Do you feel like Eva is the only person who's going who got the boot for season 13? What do y'all think? Who is next? I want to know. I want to know. Is Cynthia next? Is she living in LA? She already made her escape. She already planned her out, her exit, because she knew it was the end. What do y'all think? Let me see. You said Cynthia, 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 Cynthia. Oop. Are y'all in agreement? Oh my god! Oh my god! Uh, Cynthia! Oh my god! What? No, not Cynthia. You hope it's Kenya? <laughs> Dang! You said Bravo clean the house. How they clean the house? It ain't but one gone so far. It's not but one gone so far. Y'all think? Y'all think Nene's still gonna be there? What do y'all think? Meanwhile, Portia has gone on record to say the contracts have gone out. And if Portia is saying the contracts have gone out, it must mean that Portia has secured a contract. Now, we haven't heard anything from Nene and Candy. Remember, Candy was just saying, Candy was just saying she didn't get a contract. Remember, we were laughing because we were like, damn, Yovana got a contract and Candy didn't. Well, clearly, Yovana ain't got none either. Mm. But we've already talked about that. Who is Yovana? We don't even know. You said bring Phaedra back. Phaedra is on marriage boot camp. She is the star on WeTV. Y'all can catch her on WeTV on I don't know what night. Look at your local listings for showtimes. <laughs> but Phaedra has a whole new man, honey, that she's not with. And, you know, they got together and they did a show together for some coins. So y'all can catch her over there on WeTV. Y'all talking about y'all talking about uh bringing Phaedra back. How you gonna bring Phaedra back? Phaedra got a job. <laughs> Phaedra has a job, and you see how close to Andy that Candy is. You see, Candy got Andy on lock these days, so I don't expect to see Phaedra anytime soon. <laughs> I mean, I would. I mean, we were hopeful, but I. Don't